Hello and welcome. I'm really pleased as I turned up today. Um, yeah, this is very important. I get on with this right away. So my commission, I think I alluded it to in a couple of the previous videos. So yes, it's a trumpeter, 172 scale BAC or English Electric Lightning F1A slash F2. And you can see there it says model brief is what the specs are. Length of 23 centimeters roughly, wingspan of roughly 14 centimeters, about 15, more close to 15, and total parts into two pieces. Nice box art. Again, it's quite a grey, rain, rainy day, a bit like the Victor in a way, which is pretty cool. Grey, grey, rainy, rainy day. And the lightning here is uh, on landing here, the flaps down. See this spray coming off, it looks like it's coming in for a landing rather than taking off. But yeah, quite nice, quite nicely painted. So, what do we get? So I've literally not opened this yet, this is from King Kit. Um, again, they've got this on sale at the time of recording for about £15.99, which seems to be a really good price. So, see the details nice, it's all engraved. Don't know how accurate it is to a lightning. Interesting what all that's for. It's very purposeful though. You can see in the instructions. Clear parts here, all in separate baggies. Nice. See the drill has open. So no little blokey included, but we've got some little blokies in the Victor. Use the cockpit tub there. The exhausts, the missiles, tailplane. Yeah, looking looking quite nice to be honest. Nice and engraved. I know we're doing this bit A about T, so no one normally do it. There's the tail. The wings. Hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to do this uh, in flight. With the ailerons. It looks like you can pose the flaps if you want to. We'll find out here. So you get your safe, safe instructions, nice A4 booklet. Just read that away so we're not making problems with this. So, you get your parts diagram, including the decor sheet, which is nice, nice sheet, which is nice. Seat, air intake. So quite quite easy. It's actually telling you flat black, flat black, flat black. Everything's flat black, which is brilliant. Silver in there, fantastic. Burnt iron on there. Aircraft grey. I'm sure I've got a grey that will do. I'll have a look at some photos. What's the traps and everything? You won't also notice it. All. Um, yeah, here's the flaps going into the wings. Do we, do we actually build the wings first? No. Nope. There's two halves to those wings. <laughs> um, so, yep, build the wings, put them onto the aircraft. Tail going in, tail plane going in. The exhausts. Something to give it a bit of depth, so you want to do this black probably to give it some darkness going up inside. Air brakes you can pose in or out. The gun. The gun, the gun ports, what carpet going on, undercarriage legs going together. Yeah, okay. You got a choice of red tops or fire streaks. There's the undercarriage. Carried in. So I just want to sure I didn't miss. Oh, C2 and C3, there we are. C1 and C4, so that's, yeah, so you put both halves together. So. Required to read the instructions, but yes, and then you can put the missiles in and everything like that. So, I'm going to have to. I'm going to be mounting this in flight with its wheels up, that's what uh, has been requested. In flight, looking awesome. So, yes, that's going to have to go. I have to make a hole for this to go in underneath, but yeah, okay. So, scheme wise, this is actually quite a good kit for schemes. 
That's three. So there's this one here. Uh, if I get the box, do you have see which squadron's which? I'm not au fait with lightning squadrons particularly, so. Uh, It doesn't actually tell us this one at all, not even on the box. It's an F1A XM181 from the ERAF, Royal Force 1971. The one I'm going to be doing is this one, which is a 56 Squadron Lightning F1A XM182 from 56 in 1962. That's what she's requested it be finished, how she's requested it be finished like. And Scheme C actually gets its whole a whole page for itself that's going to be our f2 i'm guessing yes yeah, f2 xn 779 of number 19 squadron so incidentally number 19 this squadron here was the first squadron to receive the spitfire so i suppose dogs would Yes, I, I, I mean, I think out of all of those, the 56 Squadron one's the best one anyway, but yes, that's that's what I'll be doing. So I look forward to doing that, and I'm, I'm saying I'm going to be making a start, probably tonight. Um, just to uh, get things going, so I'm, basically I've got something to show the nice lady looks so basically yes, you know, this is a commission board, but it's not. I'm not being paid for it. So it's not a commission. Commission. It's something I'm doing out of. I'm doing it to give something back to people that put on the people that work so hard to look after what I call the proper shop at Duxford, not the main shop, the uh, historic vehicle and airliner collection shop. Um, There they are. So that's the one I'm going to be using. That's the number 19 squadron. And that's the one that we don't know. If you know which one that is, do let me know. All the stencils and everything. There's a cockpit transfer there that's going to help. Yeah, this should be quite a fun and actually quite a quick build in many respects. So I look forward to, to taking it and hopefully I'll be able to get a picture of me you know, handing it over and presenting it. Uh, so yeah, when I, when I do go, so that's all I want this weekend. So I want to be able to take some pictures and go. There's your lightning under construction. And there's how it's going to be finished. So uh, yeah. So that's what you get. I think it looks good. I think this looks worthwhile. Obviously, you get the bits to make the F1, the F2. Um, I'm looking forward to immensely. been able to do so uh, yes I hope that's a bit of a bit short and sweet this one this week isn't it as opposed to the 24 minute ones we've had on the beefy to the victor before it but yes uh, till next time stay safe be well and I honestly don't know what's gonna be next hmm, we'll have to wait and see bye for now